headed up to Geiger Key to look at an old Mako that we might buy for a project boat. I think he said it was a 1990 and he wants $1,000 for it. Has a trailer, I don't know how good a shape the trailer's in, but we're headed up there to look at that and see if uh, it's something we want to get involved in. Today's weather is 78 degrees with a high of 80 and it's a bit cloudy. Wow, Matt's taking me on a road trip today so that we can go and take a look at this boat that this guy is trying to sell for a thousand dollars. It sounds like it's a project boat that needs a ton of work. Anyways, we're getting off the island. If you know anything about us, we rarely drive up the Keys. Maybe he'll be taking me to one of my favorite coffee places. We'll see. Looks like it's been sitting for a while. I think this boat has a little bit too much work for what we're interested in getting into. Look what I got. She can't say I didn't take her out today. So went to look at that old Mako and it's more of a project than I want to get into. It, just put it this way, the condition is worse than what I was expecting. So we are probably going to pass on that and uh, we're actually on our way to look at another Mako that a, I guess I would call him a friend has, that I was looking for an engine and I uh, told him about my project and he said, well, hey, I've got a Mako over here um, at my business. He does outboard motors. and. He said, I got to get 4,500 for it, but come take a look. So we're headed that way now. You already found the boat? This is it. This is it? Yep. If you wanted to make it look pretty, you would have to gel coat it or paint it. Sure. Um, no cushions. Oh. Uh-oh, we're getting wet. Yeah, a little bit. But the deck feels solid. Uh-huh. So far. Oh, wow. This one is much better condition. Of course, it's a little bit more money for a project boat. Hey, what do you guys think? What would you maybe do to this? So I'm thinking either one or two engines in the back. Matt's thinking about putting two engines back here. Just in case one breaks down, then we have another. You know, obviously all new electronics. <clears throat> Might try to get rid of these and put maybe a rocket launcher here with a bench seat, maybe. I don't know. We could probably use some new rub rail. I'm not really sure about this green color. You know, like I said, you're probably looking at to do it right and make it look pretty, you're looking probably, I would say, 50 to 60 grand. I bet this would be a fun little boat. I know we don't need a boat, that's for sure. Good, how are you? Paint or gel coat, all new wiring, new rub rail, new electronics, motor, engines, steering, rigging. I don't think it comes with this trailer. We'd have to buy a trailer. And we'd also have to make sure if we're gonna keep it or sell it or whatever we're gonna do with it, we'd have to probably keep it on base if we can. This one is more my kind of style, I think. You know, if you really wanted to do it nice, you put a T-top on there. What do you think, babe? It's not nearly as rough as the last one. So oh, this yeah, no. has some potential, I'd probably say. Where would we buy a trailer? Yeah, there's trailer dealers online. If we bought one online, we'd probably have to run up to Miami and pick it up. Oh, we can't get one here? Maybe we'd order it. It would still come from Miami. Oh, okay. You know, unless you can find a good used one, which finding good used trailers down here in Key West is kind of hard. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The hull looks solid. Transom looks good. Can this fit at the office? Uh, yeah, we'd have to move some stuff around, but yeah, we could fit it at the office. Yeah, you definitely want to fit it there. Well, we're in search of a trailer for that project boat that we might have found. What do you think? So it needs new, new suspension, the bunks are, I don't know, they could use some new hardware. This trailer is a Frankenstein. It's like three different trailers put together. The axle is not in the right place. The whole axle on this one is crooked. So it's, the left side wheel is forward, this wheel is backwards. That's not so good. So it probably needs a new axle, a uh, new suspension. Okay, this is a no-go. Let's go. Yeah, we might as well just buy a new one. Buy a new one. Be done with it. The guy also had another trailer that he said we could look at. It wasn't heavy duty. So I called Atlantic Trailers up in Hialeah. He quoted me 3500 That's one with the extra heavy duty 
axle and wheels and tires. It's all aluminum and stainless steel and it can be done um, sometime around the first of the year because they're shutting down for the holidays just like our friend who has the Mako Hall is gone until the first. Um, all right. Yeah, I, I think these two are meh, too sketchy for me. Okay. All right. Yep. Hey, uh, did you get that boat? Yes and no. The boat is... Uh, yeah, I think so. He's yeah. gone until January 1st, so when he gets back, then we're going to hook up. And, and you know. Yeah, and then I'm also, we went and looked at some trailers, but they were all kind of junk, so we're probably going to have to have a trailer made, um, which will be around the first of the year also. Whenever we don't have anything to do. Nice. Good old Mako? Yeah, 96, 20 foot. I'm hoping to put two DF-115 Suzuki's on the back, on jack plates, but it might be too much weight. So, because I could put a 225. Just hold the throttle down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could put a 225, and that weighs like 600 pounds, maybe 700 pounds. But the two DFs plus the jack plates weigh like probably eight or nine. I mean, it's rated for 230 horsepower. So either one big outboard or two small ones. I'd rather have the two smaller ones just for some redundancy. Yeah. So, but whatever, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, it should be sometime uh, towards the first. Thank you. I'm just outside of a Ross store and I'm going in to see what kind of stuff they might have for a 12 year old girl that likes to draw and doodle and do canvas paint. And I want to see the makeup that they have, maybe some nail polish and that type thing because there was a young girl who's 12 years old and her dad was on Facebook saying that he needed help this holiday season. And so I got the information. I asked what would make her Christmas amazing. So I was cruising around Kiwash yard sale two days ago because I was looking for a project boat of some sort that I wanted to take a look at. And then this post caught my eye. This girl's asking where to donate toys for kids. And so I started reading the comments for some reason. I'm not sure why, because I don't have kids and I'm not really interested in toys, but I had come across this post from this gentleman and he says, here at my house, anything for my 12 year old daughter would be nice. Times are hard. And so I commented back and I ended up connecting with him. I ended up taking it offline and connecting with him via messenger. And I got a little bit more specific with the kind of toys that she wanted. And so I just wanted to share that this is what started the shopping spree that we went on yesterday at Ross. He gave me a list of some things and I'm gonna go and see what Matt and I can find to fulfill some of her Christmas wish list. Come on, Matt, let's go see what we can find in Ross. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good. So I'm looking for a big pack of these pens and markers and stuff that my chiropractor told me about today when I went to go see him because he had bought one for us to give to another family that he was supporting. Okay, here's what it is. It's right here. This is it. Nice find, Matt. Um, he said that it has like a, um, the one that he had, had um, an easel with it. The one he got, he said was $35. This is $25. Wood case with easel back. Oh yep, that's the last one. Well, guess what? We we hit it. All right. Perfect. All right. One's down. Wow, we got a ton of options here, which is awesome. I thought maybe I'd get her a little mirror. It's got suction cups, so she can stick it on a mirror, and she can. It says 15x, so she can get really close. And then I found. Matt found actually an eyeliner set, so that would be great. She loves all different colors of eyeshadow and stuff, so this is what I found. Look, she'll look fabulous with these shimmering colors. And then they said that she wanted some kind of nail polish. I guess she uses her mom's, and so we got a set, and she's got tons of options there. What else might we put with this package? 
I'm just curious. Have we missed something? No, what we could we this. add? Plus, she loves art, so we got this art set. What else could we get her to make her Christmas amazing? Let me think about it. This is difficult when you don't have any kids. We don't really know. Um, oh, how about a makeup bag to hold it? That's what we'll get. I wish I knew what her name was because I could maybe get the letter of her first name. But since I don't, I'm going to get this one. We're going to get this M. Okay? Perfect. I'm super excited. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. That's right there. I can see the tag inside there. Was I supposed to remove it? Yeah, right. And he just recently got these, so. Okay, cool. It's all right. Just for next time. Thank you. Have a good day. So we're going to begin doing our wrapping of the gifts so that we can go and get these delivered to that family. Hey, don't admit to everybody how often you wrap me gifts, dude. Come on now. <laughs> Like that. Look at it. It's perfect. Just don't look at the back. You're showing us upside down now. Oh. <laughs> You'd never know. Hey, why don't you go get your bag and you can put it in our bag. Bring the bag over here. We got a matching plaid bag to go with our paper. One more down. Wonder how we're going to wrap this thing. It's got a handle. I'm just going to try and do my best, I guess. I want the handle because we might have to park a little ways away to be able to deliver it. I'm wrapping these gifts and kind of remembering when I was 12 years old. And you know what? I was pretty sneaky. My mom would wrap our gifts and I was such a terrible kid. You know what I did? I would cut where the tape was and then I would sneak and look in the end to see what the gift was and then I'd retape it and my mom would never know that I was peeking. Where's the handle? This is what we got to deliver. So there's quite a few little gifts. Now I'm gonna fill it up with tissue paper. Matt's cutting the handle for the art set. So we're all ready to go and deliver our gifts. We're gonna head that way now. Okay, so we are on our way to go and deliver our gifts and our chocolate and the money that we're gonna give the family so that they can buy food for Christmas. We don't know how it's gonna go. They have no idea. They just have a, a feeling that they're gonna be getting something from me. They gave me a list of what the daughter would want. So we're gonna see how this goes. Wish us luck. All right, well, hey, Merry Christmas. Thank Enjoy, you. hope you have a great holiday. See you, Mr. Biggs. Take care, Thank see you later. Okay, mission complete. He looked pretty happy. We did it. Nice job, babe.